Medical Properties Trust stock, ticker symbol MPW. This is one of the most watched videos on my channel. So with the stock being down 50% year to date, it might be the perfect time to do an analysis. Most recently, the Fed did some announcements that could impact MPW and the whole REIT sector. On the 8th of August, MPW presented quarter results with a miss on FFO and revenue, which concerns me a lot. Most people love MPW stock because of the dividends, but they just announced a $0.15 dividend, down from $0.29, so almost cut in half. And with the stock coming down big time and being a very popular dividend stock, it is the perfect time to do an analysis. And I am very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does MPW do? Medical Properties Trust is a healthcare facility REIT. The company owns and leases healthcare facilities. The vast majority of medical revenue is generated in the United States, followed by Germany and the United Kingdom. And when we check the most recent earnings report, we see that MPW reported a per share net loss of 7 cents. FFO was reported at $0.48. For the full year of 2023, MPW is narrowing its net income per share to a range of $0.33 to $0.37. NFFO is also narrowed to a range of $1.53 to $1.57, which was kinda disappointing to a lot of investors. And here we see one more time the net loss income reported at $0.07 cents versus $0.32 cents last year. FFO is increasing year over year, which is the good part, but on the 6 month period it is still down versus last year. Another important ratio to me is the net debt to EBITDA. I prefer a number in the range of 5.5 to 6.5. Right now MPW is sitting at 6.8, which is too high in my opinion. In here we see that general acute care hospitals is by far the biggest segment in terms of assets and revenue. Behavioral health facilities is the second biggest segment. A thing that I do like is the fact that the largest individual facility is roughly 2% of the portfolio. So looking at this diversification it is looking pretty good. And if you take a look at the operator breakdown in terms of revenue and assets. We see that Steward Healthcare represents almost 11%, which is kind of my maximum what I want to see. In here we see that 61% of the assets is located in the US, and this represents 65% of the total revenue. Roughly 22% is located in the UK and represents 26% of the revenue. And now that we know more about the company, it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free so don't miss it out. Let's continue with diving into the fundamentals. MPW is a 3.26 billion market cap company. P ratio is not a fair metric to use with REITs, so I will be using the price to FFO instead. Right now it is sitting at 3, indicating they might be undervalued. Later in this video I will show you my 3 price targets for MPW stock, so make sure to watch until the end, because price to FFO is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 1.4 billion and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. However, most recently it is coming down quite a lot. We see that margins are going up and down quite a lot in the long run. But the thing most people are worried about is the most recent decreases in margin. And to me this doesn't look any good. EPS is going up in the long run. It is not really steady and consistent, but that is very common for a read. However, the most recent decrease is something that of course bores me a lot. Analysis expect 2023 to be a tough year in terms of EPS. 
After that they expect EPS to return to normal historical levels again. For the revenue it is a pretty similar. 2023 is going to be a tough year. After that things are likely to recover a bit. Return on assets is sitting at 3.2% which is a low number, even for REIT. Return on equity also looks really low. And the most important number, return on invested capital is sitting at 2.4%, which is again a low number. And it is slightly lower than the 5 year average, so that is also something that I don't like. Current ratio is at 2.88, which is a great number for REIT, nothing special to mention here. Right now MPW has 10 billion in debt. I prefer companies that can pay on at least a big chunk of their total debt with the total cash. MPW has 324 million in total cash, so they can't pay down a big chunk of their total debt. This is something that I don't like. So it is very important that free cash flow is grown, since this is used to pay down debts of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up in the long run, which is a great thing. Shares outstanding are increasing, which is very common for a REIT, since they increased shares to raise capital. When shares outstanding are decreasing it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we are talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 11%, which is a great number. But keep in mind MPW did cut the dividend. Annual payout is at $0.6 and payout ratio is at 68%, which is around the average for REITs. The growth numbers aren't updated yet after the dividend cut. In this graph we we'll see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this can be an estimation and can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to go up and down quite a bit, but the trend is downwards from here. Overall these dividends don't look that good to me, in terms of growth and safety. But how about the historical returns? I decided to compare MPW stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. Next to that I added CTRE. On the 5 year chart we see that MPW underperformed the S&P 500 big time with a minus 48% return including dividends. The S&P 500 did beat all stocks in this list by a decent amount. On the 1 year chart it looks pretty similar with MPW sitting at minus 46% return. The S&P 500 and CTRE are having a significantly higher return. And keep in mind this is including dividends. On the 6 month chart it is again MPW sitting at a negative return. CTRE had the highest return, beating the S&P 500. On the 1 month chart it is again CTRE with the highest return. MPW is sitting at minus 23% return. So bottom line MPW underperformed the S&P 500 short term and long term. But with the stock hammered down quite a lot it could be an interesting buying opportunity. So could this be the perfect time to buy MPW stock? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets, starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 0, 3 and 6%, based on historical performance, the round outlook but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm filling in 5, 7.5 and 10%. And for the free cash flow margin I'm putting in 40, 42 and 44%. For the PE ratio I'm putting in 20 and for the price of free cash flow I'm putting in 10. My desired annual return is 15% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Usually I put in 12.5 but I want to build in a higher margin of safety here. Right now MPW stock is at $5.45. I hit analyze. And we see a lot of green numbers. And since this is a read, I'm only focusing on the discounted cash flow value. We have a low price target of $6.8, which is right above the current stock price. We have a mid price target of $8.7, and we have a high price target of roughly $11. To me, the low price target is the most justified here, indicating that this stock is undervalued right now. But 
Hold your horses, there is a big but to me. This stock has got the dividend and is having some short term and potentially also long term problems in terms of growth and margins. So although the numbers are indicating it is a buy, I'm warning you big time. To me the stock is not a buy, I think it is a high risk and almost no chance of having a reward. We saw that on the 5 year period the stock didn't come close to the returns of the S&P 500. And keep in mind this is including dividends. So from a value point of view things might look attractive, but I think this isn't the bottom for the stock. I'm very excited about the next earnings report since that could be a game changer for this company. As of right now the risk is too high as I said earlier, so I'm skipping this stock. And please be careful with this stock. If you are buying or holding this stock I wish you all the best to have a great return. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about the stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.